inspire, include, inquire. These are the three I's that this conference has chosen to use as their motto. I want to add a fourth one, imagination. Good afternoon, I'm Nicolas Ramis, and today I'd like to have a small chat about imagination, a subject I think needs a lot of teaching at schools. A wise man once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. This man wasn't Plato, Socrates, or any of the other hundreds of philosophers you might know of. This man was Albert Einstein. The first time I heard this quote, I was extremely puzzled. I kept on thinking, how could a man of science, a man who bases their work around facts, evidence, and hardcore proof, say that imagination, a concept often irrational and illogical, why would he support it? The more I thought about it, however, the more I realized, besides being a genius, Einstein was a man of unproportional, of a great mind in terms of phrasing. Because imagination is the journey one takes to find knowledge. I come from a very large family. We're six siblings in total. I'm the eldest, followed by a sister in ninth, a sister in eighth, a sister in fourth, a brother in kindergarten, and then a baby brother. The two that I see that use their imagination the most on a daily basis are without a doubt the kindergartner, Jacobo, and the fourth grader, Victoria. They both use it in different ways, but they have a trend. When, when they're three and four, they both start grabbing pencils and drawing. Once, Jacobo drew a red line across a piece of paper, and to me, it was a simple red line. But when I asked him about it, it was a rocket ship. I come back five minutes later, and it's no longer a rocket ship, it's a volcano erupting. Come back 10 minutes later after that, and it's a rocket ship. Why? How? Victoria, she loves to read, and she draws inspiration from books. So anything she draws from books, she uses in the world around her. Imagine she goes outside. She'll see a blade of grass, but to her, it won't be a blade of grass. She's been reading about fairies, so instead, it's the house of the wind fairy, for example. They use their imagination to their benefit to solve problems. And I love this instance when I was with Jacobo one day, just taking a stroll. We encountered a small rock in the middle of the road. I kept on walking. I simply sidestepped through it and then kept on walking. He, however, made me wait. He turned around, ran back, turned back around facing the rock, sprinted, leaped over the rock, extended his arms, landed, and then rolled. And I was confused. I kept on thinking, what are you doing? Why don't you just sidestep through it? You, you just made it harder for yourself. But now I see where Einstein was right in when he said imagination is more important than knowledge. Imagination is what permits a person to think broadly about answers. There isn't one way to solve a problem. There's many, there's hundreds. Sometimes, of course, they're gonna be completely illogical and irrational. You're gonna, you're gonna need things that you won't have, but still, they pass through your mind. Sometimes, of course, there's gonna be things completely logical, like me sidestepping through the rock. But there's no fun in that. As teachers, I urge you to do one thing. I want you to encourage your students to think broadly about a problem. I'm in 10th grade, and the higher I progress through school, the less time I have to do this, because the more I'm given facts and hardcore evidence like Einstein was given. I get bored of it, because I can't use my imagination. Ladies and gentlemen, please tell your students, don't think of a problem as a simple, with a simple solution. Tell them to explore, because this, in the end, benefits them greatly in many ways. In school, we're taught critical thinking. We're taught to analyze things. And this is what imagination does. It helps you analyze in so many ways and create multiple, if not hundred, a hundred different answers to the same problem. I leave you again with a, with a final quote. Imagination is more important than knowledge because imagination is a journey one takes to find knowledge. Thank you very much.